I cannot believe that Yoder would give a letter like that to Flynn. There must be some mistake. We've met His Highness, too, and he certainly didn't seem like that kind of person. But you heard the letter! It said to take Don Whitehorse out of the picture! So maybe it was sent by someone who wants to throw a wrench into what Yoder and Flynn are doing. But that's nothing more than a hunch right now. Yeah, you're right. The only thing we know for sure right now is that Flynn is in trouble. like I dropped my wallet somewhere. At a time like this? Maybe it fell out of my pocket at the Don's place. I'm gonna go look. You wait here. Okay. Don't take too long. Alrighty. Now to go see how Flynn's holding up. being quiet, but I guess you heard me. So, you've come to have a laugh at me in this sorry state? Yeah, I wanted to see what kind of expression being locked up put on your face. It doesn't hurt to be forced to view things from behind bars every now and then. What the hell you think you were doing, coming here with a letter like that? That was the Red Eyes doing. They attacked after you left. You don't screw up like that. Was it one of your people? Even if it was, the responsibility is mine. I see. If the Red Eyes are involved, then Rago's got to be behind it all. But how do you know? At the harbor, we saw Rago giving orders to one of their assassins. I hadn't heard about that. Do you know what they're trying to do? Most likely, they want to force a clash between the guilds and the knights. That'd be... bad. You think another one of those false letters went to the knights? Yes, to put them in a fighting mood. If you know that much, then get out there and get the real letters back. I was wondering how long it'd take you to get rid of that damn lock. <laughs> You've got to stay here. What? And be your scapegoat? You're just itching to get rid of me, aren't you? Yuri, if I don't make it back, you'll have to die in my place. Yeah. <laughs> Taking your friend's place in a jail cell? You lost your mind, son? This coming from an old man who gets rid of his own guards on purpose. Hmm. I had a special favor to ask that rookie knight. You mean Flynn? The rats that plan these sort of stunts usually like to enjoy their handiwork from somewhere nearby. If you knew the letter was fake, why'd you fire everyone up like that? If I didn't make a good show of things, whoever's behind all this wouldn't bother to come watch. Besides, we've got a lot of hotheads around here who'd never let me hear the end of it if I didn't raise hell. So that's where it stands. Of course, if our friend the Knight doesn't show up again, your life is mine. I know. Tell me one thing, though. What made you want to start a guild in the first place? I realized I couldn't protect the things that were important to me playing by the Empire's rules. There have to be some things that were easier to protect when you were on the other side, though. Even in the lower quarter where I'm from, we still had the barrier to protect us. Sure. But were you happy with just putting up with all the things you didn't like? Well, I... So if the rules the Empire sets don't suit you, you got two choices. You can do like your friend is and put everything you've got to change in the system. Or, you could turn your back on the Empire and live by the rules you set for yourself. That's pretty clear-cut. Yep. I think you're gonna have to take responsibility for letting my prisoner go. 
You want me to do something besides rotting in this cell? The sap who's been putting together this little show has got to be somewhere in this city. Oh, I've been planning on asking your armor-wearing friend to hunt him down for me, but... So what? You want me to find them? Your job is to pay this debt back to me. How you go about it is up to you. That young lady you brought with you is running all over the place helping with the injured folks. You're not the type to be the only one sitting around twiddling its thumbs, right? Estelle. Huh. <laughs> that sounds like her. Out of the way! The dawn is passing through! Is he really planning on going to war just to lure those rats out of hiding? We'll teach those Imperial bastards to look down on us! Oh, Yuri! Have you finished healing the injured yet? How did you know that? The dawn told me. This is from him, his way of saying thanks. But Yuri, things have gotten really bad! Yeah, I noticed. No, that's not what I mean! What else? I saw them! You saw who? The Blood Alliance. Barbos wasn't with them, but... Rita and Repeat are shadowing them right now! Just what the Dawn wanted. Let's catch up with Rita! Yeah. Where were you talking with the Dawn, Yuri? You were gone for a long time. We had a nice little chat through some thick iron bars. Yuri, did you get Flynn out of prison by trading places with him? No, it's nothing like that. Flynn would have been released even if I hadn't gotten involved. What do you mean? The Don planned all along to capture Flynn and use him to find out who's behind this whole mess. So both the Don and Flynn know that there's someone else manipulating things? Yeah. Why do I keep letting myself get caught up in this stuff? Now the Don's making me do his dirty work. What a pain. Rita. Yes! Let's go inside. But if Barbos is in there... Then we can't just sit around and watch either, huh? What should we do? Let me give you a tip. Oh, it's you again. Hey, hey, is it okay you being here? No, it ain't okay. But the Don asked me to make sure you youngsters don't screw things up. Why don't you guys come with me to a tavern and hear what I got to say? We don't have the time to... Oh, come on! You sound like you think I'm gonna trick you! Well, you have tricked us before! 
I can handle getting tricked a couple times, but there are limits to my patience, old man. What's with the grim face? I get it. All right. Come now, kids. Show me those pearly whites. All right. How many guilds are there in this city? I don't know the exact number, but I think there are more than a hundred. Whoa, that many? Are all of them in the Union? <clears throat> nah, not all of them, but I guess around 90% of them are Union members. Wow, and the Don's at the top of them all. That guy's amazing. That's why he's the Don! What are you so proud about? The Don's the amazing one, not you. We're coming through. What is this place? Just a place that Don has for drinking with important guests and having secret conversations. Are you telling us just to stay here and drink? If your friend comes back with the real letter, things could be settled peacefully. Sorry, but I can't let Flynn hog all the glory. We need to find the criminal behind all of this trouble. If that happens to be Barbos. Easy now. Haste makes waste. What's this? There are sewer tunnels that sprawl in a labyrinth beneath this town. Long ago, when the town was occupied by the Empire, the guilds used these tunnels to fight back. Wait! Don't tell me this place is connected to those sewer tunnels! That's exactly what it is. And our plan is to use them to sneak right up behind those guys. Quickly sneak in and catch them, huh? It's a bit of a detour, but it's the best chance we got. That's the idea. Aren't you glad you trusted me? I won't know that until it's all over. So, you still don't trust me, huh? Naturally, you'll be coming with us too, right, old man? Aw, oh, crap! And I was totally planning on skipping town. I'm saying we want to share the glory with you, old man. Come on, let's go. Oh, it's pitch black. I'd rather not get lost in here and never see the light of day again. Yo, genius mage girl, can you use some fire magic and light up this place? Are you trying to use me as your personal lamp? You've got some nerve, old man. Rita, isn't there something you can do? Hmm, nope. Fire magic is only used for combat. For us to have continuous illumination, air would need to be constantly supplied. Like Lux Blastia. Huh. You weren't counting on that, were you, old man? <laughs> Hmm, is this a Blastia? It's seriously damaged, but I think we can use it. Whoa! Isn't that thing gonna explode? Are we okay? Of course it's not gonna explode. This is a type of Lux Blastia. It uses that device to charge air and light up. I knew you could do it, Rita. But it's on its last leg, so I don't think it'll last too long. Let's get moving while we've still got light. <coughs> What's up, Puffer? You need something? It's dark, so you'll get lost if you stray too far. Thanks for worrying about me, Lass, but I'll be fine. 
It's so dank in here. I hope we don't have to stay too long. It may be dank. At least the bustle is gone. I prefer the quiet of these tunnels. Uh, right. I'll never be able to keep up with your sensitivities. Oh, repeat. Do you know where Raven went? Hey, Poochie. Where'd you... Ugh. Ow! Ah. There goes the quiet you were talking about. Yes, well, I've become accustomed to it. Stop jabbering about customs and help an old man out. Monsters! Um, they won't attack us, will they? We shouldn't have anything to worry about. <sighs> the light! We need to charge up some air before it goes out. What the? <sighs> Expected monsters to wait for us to drop our guard before an attack. There's no way any monster is that smart. Perhaps they're weak against light or something? There are monsters like that? There are indeed. Creatures that live in dark places sometimes have an aversion for light and work hard to avoid it. Oh, right. So that's why they didn't attack when it was bright. Oh, there's another one of those machines. Oh, how interesting. So we just need to be careful to recharge the lamp before it runs out of juice.
Something carved here. Words? Long ago, our ancestors abandoned their nations for forgetting their duty to protect their people, and thus became the true defenders of freedom. That is how the guilds first began. But now, the iron shackles of oppression threaten to strangle us once again. It is because we have forgotten the oath of our ancestors and spent our time fighting one another for our own self-interests. Therefore, we must once again return to the basic principles behind the guilds and join our strengths together as one. We offer our swords for freedom, our shields for friendship, and our lives for the common good. Here we renew our ancient oath. Hey, isn't that the Union Oath? What is that? It's like a slogan that the Dawn came up with when he formed the Union. We can't depend on the Empire, so we have to protect each other. In order to do that, we need to join forces and put our lives on the line for one another. What's the Oath doing in a place like this? The Union is based on the guilds that resisted when this town was occupied by the Empire. Before that, guilds just did whatever they wanted and only joined together when there was a problem. Once things were resolved, they'd split up again. But with the Empire's occupation, they changed that. So the guy who led those guild forces was Don Whitehorse? Yep. These sewer tunnels must have really come in handy back then. So that's when they made the oath here? Seems that way. I'd heard there was an actual written oath, but I had no idea it'd be etched in a wall like this. There's something beautiful about how the oath is written on a wall. It says, I freed right here. Oh yeah, that infamous King of the Pirates. The way Don tells it, he was supposedly a sworn ally. But he was such a shrewd and cunning individual that even the Don had difficulty dealing with him. The Don's a pretty impressive guy to be able to call someone like that a sworn ally. Our lives for the common good, huh? I'm glad I got to see something so fascinating. But we take care of Barbos now. Let's go. Our swords for freedom, huh? The Union Oath, right? Fighting for personal freedom instead of draconian imperial law sounds good to me. If you feel that way, maybe the guilds are right for you, Yuri. Huh? Yeah, I wasn't cut out to be a knight. <coughs> huh? You agree, Rapide? The guilds, huh? Be cautious. Flickering blaze burn! 
It'll be a hundred years before you can beat me. Because you've lived a lot longer, right? Not exactly. These are the threads that I feel this power inside. tavern in the eastern part of town used by Barbos as a hideout. Basically, it's the place you guys were trying to sneak into. Then Barbos is somewhere around here? Looks like there's a second floor. Let's see what's up there.
Barbos, what is the meaning of this? I haven't the slightest idea what you're talking about. The Tower and the Blastia, of course. I have yet to receive any reports about them. Why should I have to report to you about something like that? What? Building that lousy tower fortress of yours without speaking a word of it to your own employer? You even went so far as to use Leviathan's claw for help! I'm not your lapdog, Rago. I just gathered the cores together, like you requested. It's thanks to my efforts that you were able to make that weather-controlling Blastia. And just what made you think it was okay to carry off the extra cores? Our mutual non-interference was a condition of our agreement, was it not? What? And did I ever interfere with what you were doing? Barbos, how dare you! You will leave now, Magistrate. Remember this, Barbos. Black-hearted filth like you always get what they deserve in the end. You want to talk, Rago? You guys! It's the World Series of Villains, and you had to take the best seat in the house? What fool would dare to heckle my exquisite performance? Oh, -ho! if it isn't the little runts I met on the ship. You're the one who's been causing all of the recent chaos. On what of it? You fools will never manage to capture me. Oh, yeah? What's your reasoning there? A villain is someone who never considers losing a possibility. That's why he thinks the way he does. If so, then that makes you quite a villain, Yuri. Yep, I'm nefarious. <sighs> so we're rebelling, huh? You're a real troublemaker, you know that? You've got a big mouth, brat. You would dare to oppose me? I thought I told you before that next time you wouldn't get off so easy. All the better for us to tear things up. Take them down! Ha <laughs> ha! The fools have started to march! Now that meddlesome Don and the Knights will destroy each other! He did this to destroy the Union and to eliminate the Dawn! If the Knights are destroyed, who will protect the Empire? Rago, why would you... Of course! He's gonna weaken the Imperial Knights so that the Council can step in and control the Empire! And he's gonna use the Blood Alliance to seize Altosk and rule over the Union. Oh my! The Knights and the Union going down together. It's just as Flynn said. <laughs> so what if you know now? No matter what you do, you won't be able to stop the battle! <laughs> we'll see. And your existence comes to an end here! Damn it, he's too late. Flynn! Stop! All of you! Sheath your blades! Sheath them! I am Flynn Sheetho of the Imperial Knights. I have come bearing a letter from Master Yoder. The letter you received from the Empire was false. It was the work of a rebel. Draw back your armies at once! I thought you weren't coming back. And leave Yuri behind to take the fall for me? I wouldn't dream of it. Rago, you fool! You didn't keep up your end of the bargain. Don't hurt me! Damn! Yuri! They're aiming at Flynn! Got him! Nice shot, Carol! You brats think you can stop me? Get out of here! Head for the exit! Yuri, no! It's too dangerous! It should take time for the air to recharge. I'll try and stop him before then. Now! You're too late! No! It charged up too quickly! What the hell? What in the world is that? Oh, so you're back for more, Dragon Freak? Rita, knock it off. Our enemy's over there. My enemy is this Dragon Freak. Leave it alone for now. Hm. I'm gonna make you wish you hadn't done that. What? He can fly? Oh, so the boss is heading for the hills, huh?
Oh, get back here, you freak! Think I'm just gonna let you get away? If you're going after him, let me come with you. We're a little short on wings around here. Are you crazy? This jerk's our enemy! No matter what happens, I've gotta catch that guy. Come on! This guy's overloaded enough as it is. But what should we... You guys hold down the fort here. What? Stay out of trouble. Damn it, Yuri! And let Flynn know I'm stepping out for a while. So that cyclone was his doing. Here comes trouble. You... You've destroyed the Blastia! Hey, are you okay? Bastards!
That was easy. Hey, I learned something. Is that all you got? Looks like I'm gonna have to teach you your place. That's a handy sword you've got. Think you lost because of this sword, huh? I don't know. What do you think? Yeah. Talk it up while you've got the chance. We've got a nice, painful death all set up for you. Now shut up for a while. What's the deal? Please, I've got to get out of here. It's always something with you, isn't it, old man? It's not polite to point sharp objects at your elders. That's enough. Damn it. A woman? And she's Christian? Are you all right? <laughs> Sorry. Well, after all, you did help Baul back there. Baul? Yes, my friend. Oh, you mean that monster? So tell me, what are you going around destroying Blastia for? <sighs> not a big deal if you don't feel like talking about it. I'm afraid it's not as impressive as you might think. I'm destroying them because I want to. You're right. I'm not all that impressed. So that's why you mashed up Barbos's Blastia, too. Yes, but I didn't finish the job. And can you just let this one go? There wouldn't be any fun in destroying something like that. Huh. Hey, why don't we work together a little longer? Hmm. It's true, I wasn't able to finish off the Blastia on the roof. Okay, then. So what do we do? Hmm, there is one way I was thinking we could get out of here. Well, if you think it might work, what's the harm in trying it out? I always say, those who can, should. Okay, just go along with me on this. I'll just follow your lead. Don't worry. It's a little nerve-wracking working with a pretty lady, though. Ah! Oh, that is it! Ah! Pipe down! Cut it out! You cut it out! I said that's enough! I've had it up to here with you! Somebody get me away from this psycho! So I'm gonna... Ta-da! You're free! Thanks for your help. I think I still owe you one more. Huh? 
Guess I, uh, overdid it back there. There. That makes us even. I'm Yuri. Y Judith. Judith? Uh, Judy's easier to say. Fine by me. All right. On to the next objective. Next? Well, we could check out the blasty on the roof. All we have to do is go up. Won't your friends be waiting for you? I don't mind taking care of the Blastia first. Up we go then. And how exactly do we go up? This is heavy. Yeah, just go wander off. Reminds me of a certain princess. A princess? Never mind. There's gotta be a way up around here somewhere. Let's see what we can find. Hey, why were you wearing that stuffy-looking suit of armor? Oh? You didn't like it? It's pretty sturdy and protects my body quite nicely. See? Look at this beautiful skin, free of bruises and blemishes. Very nice. I'm actually worried where my eyes might wander. You don't look all that worried to me. I've just got a good poker face. So, you're okay? You don't mind leaving your armor behind? It's sturdy, but it's heavy. Walking around with that on tires me out. Hey, no complaints here. I prefer eye candy to scary armor any day. It looks like we can't go any higher. What's the matter? My spear is gone. Things might be difficult without a weapon. Mm. What the? Is the sorcerer's ring broken? Did the air here do this? Hey! You're more fashion conscious than I thought. This isn't fashion. You go like this and... It moved. It's powered up. I'll bet you could move other levers with that too. You think it's okay? I'm afraid it might blow up or something. If it happens, it happens. For now, let's pull that lever over there. If something this tiny exploded, I guess it wouldn't be too dangerous. <laughs> Was that fancy ring a present from someone? Hmm, I guess you could call it a present. Well, well, looks like you're quite the ladies' man. No, 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 I'm just a big sucker. Oh? It's amazing enough the ring holds power, but it even reacts to air and becomes stronger. You must have a very strong bond with the girl who gave that to you. And that's one bond I wouldn't mind breaking. Okay, this is my weapon. Can't find yours? Someone might have just took it. Maybe. Why don't you just pick one here? Uh, right. Was that something special for you? Yes, it was. Well, this should do for a while. I'll take this. Are you fine with that? I don't think I will find my weapon here. I'll look for it as I go on. I'll try looking for it, too. Thank you.
You're pretty strong. Can you use an over limit by any chance? Sure, yeah. Okay, then try this. Huh? What's this? The limit duo. Your battle spirit can allow you to use even more powerful over limits. Oh yeah? If your battle spirit is the real thing, that is. So what else can you tell me about these strong over limits? You can produce more power when attacking alone. Is that so? I still don't quite get it. Really? Maybe you'll pick it up as you use them in battle. Sounds good to me. All right, let's get moving then. Of them. <laughs> Looks like you guys have things under control. Yuri! Hey, what gives? Are you okay? Were you hurt? Never been better. You were. I thought I told you all to stay put for a while. What do you expect? We were worried about you. Hey, just for the- Well, I for one was worried sick. Yeah, right. Why would you bother coming all the way out here anyway? It's like this, see? The Don's having a fit, saying there's no way he'll let Barbos make a fool out of him. But I'm the one he sends to do his dirty work. What do you think you guys are doing coming in this way? Well, the front door was locked. That's not the point. And who might this lovely Critian be? Is she a princess? Laying it on a little thick there, old man. This is Judith. We were locked up together. Hello. Hi, I'm Ch I'm Estelise. But we all call her Estelle. Rita Mordio. And I am the great... Old man. It's Raven. R-A-V-E-N. Raven! You have to wonder about people who introduce themselves like that. Hmm. That didn't quite have the zing I was looking for. I think that'll do for now. <laughs> what an interesting bunch of people. Ooh. I think she likes me. Idiot. Judith, what were you doing in a place like this? I came to have a look at the Blastia. All the way out here? Why? I... She was captured while she was on a sort of research trip. Yeah, the Critia do like their research. <laughs> Were you able to locate your Aqua Blastia? Nope, not this time either. I wonder if it's somewhere here in this tower. <laughs> <laughs> Are you all right? Flynn? What's a lieutenant doing here all alone? We're short on manpower. Besides, I had no idea how dangerous it would be. Is everything going okay? The Don told everyone the truth, so things have calmed down. There's no... My people have secured Rago's subordinate. All that's left is Barbos. Your Highness, it's terribly dangerous. So please stay here with Yuri and the others. 
It's far too dangerous for you to go all alone. We're going with you. No, I cannot permit that. Hold up, we've got a bit of history with Barbos, so we're not about to throw in the towel after coming this far. Besides, I'm pretty sure Estelle's just gonna go after you anyway. Yuri. <sighs> Very well. Then we'll go together. There isn't much time, and it should be safer this way. Everything settled? Then let's go. What is it, old man? Uh, nothing. Just thinking how you could really brag to your friends if you lived in a place like this. Hmm. <laughs> Repeat, come on. I guess you too, old man. You guess? What's that supposed to mean? Aren't you a little old for hide-and-seek? These kids give such an ass- All right, all right. I do not have- Jeez, watch where you're- The affairs of this world hold no in- Hmm. What's up, Yuri? Is something wrong with your weapon? No, I was just thinking about how different axes and swords feel to use. Hmm. Ah, you use both swords and axes, don't you? Yeah, but my arts change depending on which I use. It's not a problem or anything, but... Hmm. Well, I think you look cooler when you're using axes, Yuri. It makes you look stronger, too. <laughs> really? I prefer Yuri when he's using swords myself. You should just use one in each hand. <laughs> Give me a break. 